One of the most common requests I get in messages, emails, or when I'm meeting people is if I can put together a daily face massage routine that you can all follow at home and use, of course, with your Evo facial oil. Now, one of the reasons I love an oil is its ability to glide and create that massage surface for your face. Because honestly, just even if you're doing one minute um, a day, a.m. and p.m., you're going to see a difference. Um, now, some of you have seen me do facial massage little routines before. Um, of course, I have to include one in our spring skin reset. So we're on day four, we're Thursday, um, and let's just go for it. I'm really gonna try and keep it really short, maybe two minutes, so that it's realistic as a daily routine for you. So let's go. You're taking your bottle, all of the details are obviously on there. We've got that lovely slight colouring. Let me just pop that bottle down. Um, five drops. Okay. And then heat that vigorously together in your palms. I'm always saying, remember when you're cooking and you add oil to a pan, as soon as you heat it, it expands and covers a bigger surface area. We really don't want to overload the skin with oil. If you do that, you're just sending a message to your brain that your skin is too oily and it will produce less sebum and dry out. Using a face oil is all about balancing your own sebum production. So as you can see, flat hands, and I'm just gently pressing that all over the face, top of the mouth, into the chin, and you can see I always work underneath and make sure that I'm working from my neck as well. So really easy to start. Let's go into a prayer position, hands together to a prayer position. And we're going to pop our thumbs under our chin and literally just apply pressure, pushing upwards. You can see the lift there towards our ears. So center under, out towards the ears. We repeat everything just a few times. You'll be able to speed this up in real life. I'm just trying to show you how we do that. And you should be able to feel a nice clearing up to your ears. Then flat hand. We're just going to stroke using the flat of our hand from our ear down the side of our neck. We're obviously not pulling any of this soft skin here. Just to help with lymphatic drainage this is. So we're pushing our lymph out towards our ear and then clearing the track for it to follow down. Back to prayer position. Closed hands, fingertips under the chin. We're going to do a full hand up. You can see the lifting there. Keep close contact, keep your palms all the way up to your ears and off. So we'll go again. Prayer position, full flat hand contact. I'm trying to show you all different angles. Keep the palms on as long as you can. Sliding upwards, outwards, towards the ears and off. We'll go one more. Sliding upwards and outwards. Lovely. Now we're gonna use the pads of our fingers. Lightly press them just where your eyebrows are finishing, pointing together between your eyebrows. And we're going to lift up above the brow. This is a gentle, I'm not dragging the skin, but you can see we're pushing up and out around and just follow that eye socket bone there. Push up, side around. This is really nice and calming and relaxing. And I'm just doing really basic movements with you today for a daily routine. Keeping your fingers we're just going to do light pressures and then tap out from the center. We're trying to help with drainage here. It's the morning we've been led down. We've got some pooling. Just these little presses out will really help. And then back again to clear the neck. And back to our flat hand upwards, but starting higher. So we'll start at the nose and we're going in under the cheekbone and up. Starting around the nose, out, and in and up. 
and then just two fingers at a time starting in the center of your brows and lovely sweeping movements just lifting and that's a lovely feeling around that third eye area completely ignoring the dogs for this okay now join your hands together fingertips touching in front separate your fingers and lift up with the top and pull outwards to the ears so under the brow lift up with that top finger and you'll see on the bottom it's really fine skin I'm not putting any pressure there it's just that lovely lift and a very soft touch underneath to again help with that draining and then we're going to make a little knuckle with our hand like that and just go in a bit stronger with a flat knuckle we can do it two at a time I was just trying to show you back to that center squeezing underneath and up to the ear and then we'll go back to our flat hand all the way up keeping your contact pulling off keeping your contact and pulling off and then slightly higher starting at the nose and working in under those cheekbones and up under those cheekbones and up and we're just going to finish going back to our lovely circling with the pads so coming in lifting up circling around you'll see that every movement I've done is working from the center of the face outwards towards the ear we're just working on drainage and just end cupping your hands in front of your face lovely inhaling those aromas and that's it you're done for the day